Hey, oh, got a little light there. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I hope you're doing well. I got a little light on my nose. I feel like Rudolph there. Anyway, hey, so today I want to talk about um, sprint review is the same as UAT because I'm going to challenge. If you're UAT, and what for anybody that doesn't know is uh, user acceptance tests. So usually you build product, it's proved by the product owner. Hopefully in the sprint, you got your customer checking it out, make sure it works the way you want. Some places do it post sprint because it may be, take time to get the attention of the customer to actually run the test. But here's my thing. If your UAT actually takes more than two hours to get done by the customer, maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe it's too big. Maybe it's too much stuff. So we're just going to talk about that in this segment. And this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master on Agile Coach. This is our 651st episode of the show. And we talk about Scrum and Agile in a practical, tactical way. So you can get value to your customer. Not work crazy hours to get that value. Get home to family and friends and have some fun at work and have fun at home. That's why we do the show. All purpose. Um, so anyway, so what am I talking about? I was talking to a product owner the other day and we were chatting and we made it a goal or he made it a goal when we were talking is to someday turn his sprint review into the actual UAT testing routine. And apparently people might say, well, that's crazy. It takes months to get the customer in there to doing the test and all that kind of stuff. Well, let's think about this for a second. How long does it really take or how long should it really take for a customer to use the software? If you're telling me you created a piece of software that took your customer two hours to use, do you really think you're adding value to the what's going on? So you created something that takes two hours to use. Now, if it's a brand new piece of software never used in their entire planet Earth, okay, great. I mean, you're, you're getting into tax day type size. So... So let's say you had a, a sprint review and you set aside two hours. There's no reason why you can't get your customer there for two hours because the problem is, is they have so many things are multitasking. And you don't have any time, but if they effectively know that in that two hour window, which is structured by you as a facilitator, as a scrum master, as a product owner to effectively evaluate the software in that two hours and get it done and be done like a split like that. I bet you they would be very happy. I bet you you'd get more feedback in that. I bet you'd be prepared and produce a better product each and every sprint. So here's my challenge to you. Turn your sprint review into a UAT. Set it up so that the software's there and you can get your customers to use the software as part of your sprint review. That's a challenge for you. I know if you did this, your product would be better quicker what the customer wants you'll get better feedback you won't wait months or weeks for your customer to give you a response on the product i think you can do it you may think it's not possible but sometimes you need to push the goals past what is possible or what you've done in the past and i really do think that making your sprint review into a user acceptance test activity is probably the most valuable you can thing you can do from a demonstration review perspective in Scrum. They don't teach that to you in the guide. They don't say that, but that's what it should be. It should be users using the software in that, because that's what we talk about. Usable, so working software, right? That's the whole purpose behind Agile, or the, one of the values, producing working so software over documentation. So complete your sprint by getting the customer to use the software as a UAT Change your system on how you document UAT, certifications, whatever. Make that part of your sprint review. I don't see a reason why it can't happen. It may take a couple sprints to get there, like the Magic Four sprints, but there's no reason to prevent you from doing that. And I would love to have someone argue against me. So if you're on LinkedIn, you watch this video or something, pop away. Give me some argument why it's not possible, not feasible. Well, maybe I'll ask you why you say that, because think about it, right? If they're doing a regular cadence, everybody knows. 
If your customer feels like they're going to spend their time effectively, it's going to be a two-hour window. They're going to get it done. They're going to get software they can use. Wouldn't you want to do it? I would. I mean, if you're building a software to make my job easier and it'll take me two hours, be there, ask your questions, see how it works. I'll get it, you know, and not only that, you're getting, they're getting trained in the software right then and there. They're giving you feedback right then and there. You know, if it works right then and there and you can quickly turn around. So I just, that one activity potentially changes from another two weeks to a month of delay to get your software into the production hands because now you're right then and there. You close it out if everything looks good in the next sprint, you release it to production. It's a normal day-to-day task, just dropping stuff in production. So I want to offer that to you. Make your sprint review your UAT, your user acceptance testing. No more of this product owner running the software. Now, if your if your review has to do with developers building some neat code that the other people in the team can use, they can demo that. But if it's customer-facing software, get it in their hands, have them run the software as part of UAT, as part of your sprint review. Something I want to offer to challenge you to push you to the next level of a high-performing team. I don't see why anybody can't do it. It may take a couple sprints to figure it out. But if you don't start somewhere, you'll never get there. So with that, I want to wish you a happy day, happy scrumming. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the show and um, ring the bell once and then twice because you never know lately when we'll be live on the show or post content. So a happy day and enjoy. Take care and see you. Bye.